we all have. Shout out to my boy Pico for that dope ass beat, man. Y'all go check Pico out, man. Hot Thoughts Music, man, and get you some tracks, man. I'm back in the five studio while I bring number five, man. Bring number five, man. The day is no different, man. Mr. AKA Keep It 110. Mr. AKA speaking on number public information, man. And the day is no different. I got time today, but not a bunch of time. But I got enough time to bring you this, right? People, let me explain something to you. When people such as the law is looking for you, stay your ass off these social media sites. Can't nothing good come from that. Can't nothing good come from that. All these social media sites were set up. Why? Because they know the generation that we living in. They know the generation we living in. You know, some people addicted to alcohol, some people addicted to drugs, but 90% of the people in society are addicted to attention. Once again, 90% of the people that are in society is addicted to attention and they'll go at any cause to get it. They'll go to great heights to have a motherfucker look at them. They don't care what the outcome is. All they want is a motherfucker to look at them and clap for them. And y'all know I ain't lying. You got to give a ball a ball to strike a strike. A ball a ball and a strike a strike. It's a lot of things that people can do outside of this shit. But they bring it here so the whole world can see it. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. But when you come here, to the social media sites or any other social media site, that shit becomes public information. And people can speak on it. People like me, I can speak on it because it's public information. Why? Because you bring it. Simple as that. And I got some public information today. Because like I said, Oh, what people won't do to get attention. So when I show you this video, it ain't even long. That's why I said I won't be here long. But I have to show you this, though. I have to show you what kind of business people in this era and in this age group are standing on. They standing on so much goddamn business, it don't make no sense. They standing on so much business, it don't make no sense. But all I want y'all to do is do me one favor. Share this video, leave your comments, whether it's good or whether it's bad. But the era I grew up in, motherfuckers weren't starving for this kind of attention. I understand everybody want, want a name for themselves. But it's how you go about getting the shit. When I grew up, 
making a name for yourself was only in your neighborhood. And it was small amounts of attention, but you was only getting it from the people that you were surrounded by. But I really, really come to the conclusion of this. It ain't no more hoods. Social media is the hood now. And this is why people bring all this shit to, to, to these social media sites. Only to get the back end of that shit and it's not good. So like I said, I got time today. I'm going to show you this video, man. And you come to your own conclusion. What the fuck this generation is headed to. They've traded certain things in. For some more things. It used to be cool to show off a basketball or a football or all the accolades you got. But not in this generation. They want to show off some more shit. But it's not only coming from me. It's coming from other people. That's going to describe it better than I can. Because I know when I said. People don't believe me. So check this out. Pair of wanted felons for weapons charges. As CBS 4's Jesse Wells explains, police hope these arrests send a message to the community. The two suspects were arrested here in this parking lot after allegedly trying to run away from police who had put the pair under surveillance. Some community activists say the case reflects a growing obsession with guns by the city's youth that is not easy to overcome. These pictures posted to Instagram show 24-year-old Taquan Henderson and 18-year-old Achilles Wallace posing with guns either in hand or in this second picture displayed on the floor. At the time, Wallace allegedly posted this image on social media with a laser sight aimed at the camera. The teen had three active warrants for his arrest. Henderson had four warrants for his arrest when police claim he celebrated his 24th birthday by holding a handgun to his face. And social media right now is telling him the bigger the gun, the more man you are. Kareem Hines, who runs a youth mentoring program and podcast, says guns have become a status symbol for many young men and getting people to stop glorifying guns is difficult. Right now, unfortunately, weapons have replaced the basketball. <laughs> weapons have replaced the football. And in, in, in a really sad case, weapons have re, uh, replaced school books. Court records show both Henderson and Wallace were tracked down using social media by IMPD's Violent Crimes Task Force. Both are now facing weapons-related charges. After the pair were arrested, IMPD served search warrants at this home on the Near East Side where they allegedly found drugs and firearm accessories, including a machine gun conversion device. Police also searched this apartment complex on the northwest side, and a third suspect, David Coopwood, was also arrested for illegal gun possession. IMPD remains laser focused on identifying those people who are illegally using, illegally possessing firearms. IMPD says their goal, targeting repeat violent offenders with guns, is to simply reduce the potential for violence. IMPD is focused on reducing violent crime through the great work of our officers, through the great work of our detectives. We continue to identify those people who should not possess firearms. Finally, all three suspects who were charged in the case have been placed on a temporary hold without bond and remain behind bars pending trial. Like I said, social media and the attention that it gives people and the way that it make people feel, they forget. <laughs> they forget, man, that this shit's set up for you to fail. That's why they made it so easy so you can get on this motherfucker. They know one thing, those that lack attention in their life for real, they're gonna bring it right here. We got to do better, man. We got to do better. If it's a chance to save this generation, man, I don't know. But as y'all heard, like I heard, the man said they have traded the 
the basketball in for guns. They have traded the books in for guns. The bigger the gun is, the bigger the man is. This is what they call standing on business, bringing it all right here on to go to jail. Like I said, man, this is public information. That's why I'm speaking on it. And y'all can too. And there's some message in everything I say, man. Attention is the biggest drug in the world. But the wrong kind of attention, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button and that subscribe button and share this video, man. And if you starving for attention, find it somewhere else, man. Don't find it here. Because the minute you come here is the minute you go to jail. Until next time, man, salute, man.